There are three types of bone marrow or stem cell transplants, autologous, allogeneic, and syngeneic. In an autologous transplant, the stem cells you receive are your own. There is no need for a donor. In this procedure, your bone marrow stem cells are removed from your blood before you undergo high-dose chemotherapy. The stem cells are then stored in a freezer until the time of the transplant. The autologous transplant is commonly performed for lymphoma, multiple myeloma, amyloidosis, and certain types of leukemia. An autologous transplant requires your bone marrow to be free of disease and functioning properly. In an allogeneic transplant, healthy stem cells are taken from a donor that matches your blood cells. The stem cells are then transplanted back to you. Special blood tests called human leukocyte antigen typing, or HLA, are done to determine whether or not a donor's cells match yours. It is important that the stem cells of the donor match those of your blood cells as perfectly as possible. If the blood cells are not a good match, donor cells and your cells can attack each other. This can cause rejection of the marrow and or an attack on your organs. The search for a donor usually begins with brothers and sisters who have the same parents as you do. If a brother or sister matches you on all six HLA sites, he or she is considered a good match. If, however, a brother or sister is not a match, transplants can still take place with an unrelated and or a less perfectly matched donor if one is available. In a syngeneic transplant, the stem cells would be taken from identical twin if one were available. Their cells would then be transplanted to you after you receive a high dose of chemotherapy. All stem cell transplants use a central venous catheter to put the healthy cells into your body. The catheter is a flexible tube that is surgically inserted into the large vein above your heart. The type of transplant you receive depends on the type of cancer, if a match donor is available, and the health status of both you and the donor. Your transplant physician will discuss the type of transplant that is best for you.